Hello and welcome back to Coin Lady channel. There is a lot happening in the cryptocurrency industry right now, particularly with government agencies like the SEC and the CFTC. However, an intriguing development has emerged. What are we seeing in the crypto space in the wake of the Wells notice issue to Coinbase, the largest US exchange? The numbers keep inching upward. Let me tell you how I see things going from my perspective. I'm just hazarding a guess here. Listen, I'm just some dude talking into a microphone. Don't put too much stock in it. But what I anticipate happening in the next 30 days or so is that, first, the SEC will come together and come to some sort of agreement, either before the judge rules or shortly thereafter. And I think they will say that XRP itself, trading on the secondary market is not a security, and that's fine. However, when Ripple sells XRP to an investor, not an oddl, for its intended use, they need to register that transaction. And that, I think, will be the most effective direction we have so far. Comparing the way things are done now with how an altcoin project should be run. Not much of a sacrifice from Ripple, huh? They are, in fact, benefiting. Currently, neither foreign nor domestic investors are being offered XRP sales. They only use XRP and liquidity on demand. There is currently no registration system in place, which is a major issue for most projects. At the moment, yes. But you're in a bit of a holding pattern until those procedures become available. But keep in mind that Ripple isn't implementing that at the moment. Not a major setback for Ripple if it takes some time to roll out the reporting requirements for people to adhere to. They are carrying on as usual right now. Now, this could be a big problem if you're a project trying to raise money by selling your token but don't have access to instantaneous liquidity. We must wait and see how things develop. But I think we run out of steam there, either before the judge rules or soon after. And we'll know the answer before long. Right. The end of this case is in sight. There's no need to play Nostradamus, just wait and see what happens. Despite widespread uncertainty and questions, the market appears to be trending upwards. That's encouraging, in my opinion. Coinbase has moved up to second place. That's where things get a little hairy. The SEC appears to be suing them. I just don't see Coinbase sticking around for a two-year fight on this. I anticipate that this situation will resolve itself quickly. The SEC's ultimate goal is monitoring. That financial information is sought after. They worry that their customers may be disadvantaged if such markets are allowed to gain an advantage. And they're concerned that their customers are not being charged a reasonable price. And this can be a problem because Gary Gensler isn't satisfied with just the most up-to-date metrics, he also wants to take a look at your past activities. Is he just going to give you a pass from here on out? He has asked in numerous interviews. Most likely not. That said, I believe that is the best course of action, although it may be unpleasant for many markets. The SEC wants to monitor all exchange trades, and I believe they will succeed. And with it, a Bitcoin spot exchange traded fund. That's why they haven't said anything yet. They are refusing to release the information, citing the need for surveillance over trading data as the reason. Soon, very soon. And when it does, it will be a momentous occasion. And that eliminates two major potential loopholes in United States law. What you'll need to do is an altcoin project, and we'll know the model for exchanges at least from what the SEC wants. I don't want to give the impression that everything is rosy with this procedure. There will be a lot of conflict and drama as a result of this. It's going to hurt, but it should make the United States more restrictive. In terms of the practical applications of digital currency, all of us fans can do whatever we want now that we have the means to do so. However, these coin offerings will likely be significantly reduced from what we see now, making them more accessible to the average investor. What it would actually take to be lawful. But at least everyone is operating under the same set of guidelines, which should lead to significant progress, particularly on the larger projects. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. Please, please, please subscribe, as always. See you in the next video, bye.